Hello everyone, I am Victorian from IG Doubt. In this video, I will give you examples of how to use QGIS to do spatial data analysis. And the example I give will be using VAPO data uh, and your actual available transpiration and interception. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to calculate statistics of a series of raster data and second, uh, statistics of zones in a raster layer. And lastly, a raster calculation. To compute statistics of a raster series, we will use a QGIS tool called R.Series. We will first look at how the tool calculate the series statistics. The R.Series tool makes each output pixel value a function of the values assigned to the corresponding pixels in the input raster layers. For example, I have a series of three input raster layers here. For the first pixel, we can get the values in the input layers x1, x2, and x3. Then the value of the first pixel in the output average layer will be the average of these three values of the corresponding pixel in input layers which is calculated to be 7.7. .7. Similarly, the standard deviation layer of the series can also be calculated in R.Series tool. Standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variation among the input layers. This is a useful statistic to see variation between periods. For example, if we have a series of raster representing annual rainfall, we can see where in the area there is the highest interannual variation of rainfall. The values of the output standard deviation layer is calculated using this formula here. For example, applying this formula, the standard deviation of the first pixel here is 2.7. The R.Series tool can also compute linear regression output. It assumes equal time intervals between input raster layers. For example, the slope or linear regression slope, which represents the rate of change, is calculated as follows. Here, T is the time index of the input rasters, and X is the values of the corresponding pixels in input rasters. For example, Assuming input layer 1 is of time step 0, input layer 2 is of time step 1, and so on. The first value of the first pixel can be plotted against time as follows. The linear regression line shows decreasing trend. The slope value is minus 1.4, which means this pixel value decreases about 1.4 pixel units per each time interval. Minus 1.4 will be the value of this pixel in the output slope layer. Now I will show you the steps to use R.Series tool in QGIS. First, we will use a QGIS toolbox to calculate the average of a series of raster. We will find this in the grass toolbox. And here we will use the R.Series tool. In the input raster layers, we will select add files. And here we'll select all the yearly actual evapotranspiration and interception data of level one. In the operation, we will select average. And then we can save uh, it as a new raster file. Here I will call it L1 AETI average. And click run. If we want to calculate server statistics uh, at the same time, we can create a processing modeler. I will call this series analysis. And here we will select multiple input and the type of the input will be raster. The algorithm we will select is the r.series. So 
So the input raster will be the multiple input. The first uh, statistic we want to calculate is the average. Similarly, we will add another uh, process with the same input. Uh, this time, the statistics we want to calculate is standard deviation. This will be the pixel by pixel standard deviation. We can also add more statistics. For example, uh, this one I will use the slope operation, which calculate the linear trend per pixel in the series of rasters. After that, we will save this model. And now we will run this model with a series of and or actual evapotranspiration and interception level one data. We select the series of all the rasters. and then specify the name for each output, including average, standard deviation, and slope. Each will be saved as an individual raster file. Then we can click Run. Once the task is completed, the resulted rasters will be added here, the new average is the same with the previous one we calculated. Now we will change the style for the slope raster to show red for negative and blue for positive slope and yellow for zero. Then we can see this area with uh, increasing evapotranspiration. Standard deviation is also very high in these pixels for the period. Next, I will show you how to compute zonal statistics in QGIS. Zonal statistics calculates statistics of a raster layer for each feature of an overlapping polygon vector layer. You can open a shape file to add vector layer of your area of interest such as a crop field, a river basin, or an agricultural zone. For example, in this vector layer, we have a feature represented in yellow here. The zone of statistics algorithm will select all pixels of the input raster layers within this feature. Then compute statistics of, from the values of these pixels. Here the maximum value is the highest value and the minimum is the lowest value among these pixels. Now I will show you steps to calculate raster st statistics and zonal statistics in QGIS. We can calculate the statistics of the whole raster layer by selecting raster layer statistics under the raster analysis. Here we select the layer and then we click run. After that, click on statistics in the result viewers. Here we will find all the statistics from minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation. We can also use the zone of statistics function to calculate statistics for smaller zone in the layer. Uh, before that, we can try to create a shape file that containing the zones we want to calculate statistics. In the new shape file layer window, select a file name, uh, polygon geometry type, and create a name field, and then click OK. Here we click on the pen button to start drawing zones. For example, I will draw a polygon in this area and name it as field 1. And for this area, it looks like a center pivot, I will draw a new polygon and name it uh, as center pivot.
Then click on the pen button again to save the change. Now we can use zone statistics, select a raster layer and using the shape file with the zones we want to extract statistics. Uh, here we can select mean, standard deviation and range. After that, we go open attribute table of the shape file. Here we will find the statistics for each polygon. We can also compare the value with the color on the map. Next, I will show you how to do raster calculation in QGIS. The raster calculator tool in QGIS performs algebraic operation using raster layers. The output layer will have its values computed according to an expression. For example, by applying the expression input layer 1 minus input layer 2, we will get this output layer. Here the first pixel has value of 2 since its values input in layer 1 is 9 and in input layer 2 is 7. Now I will show you the steps to use raster calculator in QGIS. For an example of raster calculation, I'm going to calculate the difference between level 1 actual evapotranspiration and interception data with the level 2 data. Here we will compare the average of all the years. Now we will open the raster calculator tool and write down the expression with level 1 ET minus level 2 ET. Here we select these layers as the reference layers. Select the proper projection and save as a new file. Here I will call it level 1, level 2 difference. And then click run. After that, we will see the difference between level 1 and level 2 per each pixel. As we can see here, the difference is almost zero. We would calculate the average difference by using raster layer statistics. Here we see that the mean value is very low as well as the standard deviation of the difference. If we want to calculate the difference between two series of raster, we can create a new processing model. Here we give the model a name and then we will add two raster layers as inputs. First input 1 and then input 2. After that, we will use the raster calculator to calculate input 1 minus input 2. In the reference layer, we select both inputs. Select the correct projection and name the output as difference. And then we can click run and choose run as batch process. Here we, we select a list of raster for input 1. Similarly, for input 2, we select the list of rasters. In the difference column, we will create a prefix file name and fill it with the name of the input 1. And then click run. After that, we will receive the difference raster between the two series.